This morning, nearly 63,000 people in El Paso County have received at least one dose of the coronavirus vaccine. You can see it here in the dashboard provided by the state. Nearly 63,000 getting that first dose, but only just over 13,000 people have received their second doses. We have Good Morning El Paso's Madeline Audley live at the County Coliseum to explain why that second dose is so necessary. Good morning. Mauricio, good morning. It can feel like a big relief to leave a vaccination site like this one after getting that first dose of the coronavirus vaccine. But health experts do want to make sure you remember that you're not in the clear just yet. You will not receive that full protection from the vaccine until you've had both doses. It's why health experts nationwide want to make sure that you're still following those safety measures like wearing your face covering and social distancing. Even after your second dose, the CDC says it can still sometimes take a week or two for your body to be fully protected. And when it comes to getting that dose on time, that's just as important. It is recommended that you get that second Pfizer dose 21 days after your first and the second Moderna one 28 days after your first. The CDC says second doses may be administered up to six weeks later, but a local infectious disease expert says you should try to hit as close to those guidelines as possible. When there is any change in the schedule, the immune response obviously is not going to be the same as it was studied in the protocol, but it doesn't mean that you are not going to have any response. You're still going to have a good response, but you should not uh, deviate from the protocol because the results that are reported are the ones that uh, were uh, produced when the dosage schedule was followed. If you're thinking about skipping that second dose altogether, you might want to think again. Dr. Meza tells me that the protection you'll receive from just one dose of the vaccine is only about half the amount of protection you'll receive from two doses. And he says it's likely that the immune response will likely not last as long either. Reporting live outside the County Coliseum, Madeline Otteley, Good Morning El Paso.